So uh, wait. Who's up? Okay, yep. is Avo actually up? Yes. Okay, because it looked like he was gooning there for a moment. Oh, wait. A Finn talked to back that. That's a, a nod. That's <laughs> quite true. Don't get into politics. Damn. You hate to see it. Damn, you, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Did he really unmod me, though? Of course. Wow. You hate to see it. Imagine not being a mod in 2019. I've been a mod in this chat for like three years. Dang. Three or four years. All right, I'll remod you. We got, you got, a, you got a ban ray. I got a ban ray. Oh. Bet. All right. Hashtag ban. <laughs> Done. Hold up. I got SP you. SP underscore ray. Easy. Oh. Easy S money. Oh. oh, yeah, you got it. Easy money. Dang. <laughs> 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 got him. Did you just double ban him? <laughs> Wait, Colin will ban him too? All right, now we're getting, oh. now things are moving. Ugh. When the three musketeers Colin, you finally can come together. You can unban them just to ban them again. <laughs> I, I unban them. All right. All right. So, Big Gomer <laughs> versus Avvo. Yep. Winner semis, other side of the bracket here. Yep. And uh, if you like projectile matches, this is one of the matches for you. Yeah. yeah. Avvo coming off of a win off Sensational, like, it was weird seeing watching that game be played out because, I mean, Seth completely sd all three times in his first game. The yeah. first game, he just gave it to him. The second game was kind of close. Seth clutched it out. Yep. In game three, he was on the on the, on the comeback, but he yeah. ran off the stage and killed himself again. Yeah. So, so he killed himself four times in that in, in that set, which yeah. cost him that entire set. And now he's sitting there losing. But with but, this set, I don't think Avo's going to be able to rely on that as much. Right. Now oh. he's got to rely on the uh, clutch edge guard game. Yep. Oh, edge up smash on shield. That was so much damage. What the hell? I mean, that's Olimar. I mean, yeah, they nerfed him a little bit, but uh, he's still breaking your shield. Yeah. There right, we go. Here we go. Coming back on aggressively. Ooh, Ooh, almost got the charge shot. Also something that we saw a lot in the uh, last set of Avo had. He hit a lot of charge shots. Oh, that yeah. would have been. If he Ooh. had. A, okay. Uh, it didn't matter, but if he uh, shot a charge shot, that would have broken his shield. Mostly because yeah. his shield was looking smaller than the damn oh, Pikmin themselves. Yeah, and I think that's why he decided to go for that fair because he knew he had to jump out of he had, he had to do something out of shield. Exactly, and nine times out of ten in this you game, gotta jump. yep, because that's the fastest option you have. Nice right, here backup. We go. Down throw, fair again. Tried to go for the Zare, not gonna get anything off of it though. Setting up bombs at the ledge, just like he did against the Sensational. Yeah, at the very least, these Zares are forcing Goma to recover low and go to the ledge, so yeah. he can't really come from above with aerials to try and regain stage control. Yeah, Goma's out here throwing Ooh. Pikmin, trying to regain center stage. Not going to get it, though. Avo not going to let him have it. Not for free, at least. Oh, oh going to whistle straight through the uh, charge shot. Nice yes. grab. Up B, though. Ooh. Cover his spots. Cover his tracks. That's another thing we were seeing out of Avo a lot and against us. the ledge going to catch the get up. You gotta be patient on that ledge if your opponent's got that charge shot coming at you. I mean, yeah, it's scary, but if it's already half charged, it doesn't matter if you get up right away. He's still gonna be able to shoot it off. Oh, and the Imagine red, the red, the red, uh, red pigment just got absolutely obliterated by that charge shot. Yo, Gomer out here trying to go for the big down air. Get that stock real quick. All right, yeah, yeah, now he has the white oh. attached to him. Got to do something about that white. Little Kempy putting in the work today. Yeah, gotta figure out a way to get the stock off though if he wants to keep going. Also to get rid of this oh, and lineup. Here we go. Up there we go. smash. See ya. This is a oh devastating God. lineup Yo, right on. now. You got two? You have you, okay, so he two keeps purples the, and he a yellow. The, he keeps the yellow because it's immune to uh charge shot. Yep. And it's also immune. extra hit stun so it's easier to combo into the purples. Yep, electricity. You get the electricity. Mm. Alright, up there. To four, oh no, I thought a floor that was gonna come out here. Alright. There we go. Got rid of one of the purples, though. Got a red. Yep. All right, here we go. Dash attack. Fair. What we got? All right. Goma pushing his aggr aggressive, or showing his aggressive side out here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I like the little fake charge here from Avo just to force him off the ledge. It's like, you know what? Right. Come up here. I'm going to hit a button. You're going to react. All right, here we go. Oh, oh my oh! God, yo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 beautiful. That's the kind that's of the stuff you got to do. That's the reverse edge guard if I've ever seen one. Holy shit. It's like you see Olimar coming below you and you got a spike. Why not throw it out? Because this is the kind of stuff that will change a game in and an instant. Is, you had Goma feeling hella comfortable too because yep. he's like, all right, I'm I got you off stage. I'm yep. putting the hella pressure on you. And now I'm going to just go out there and get dared. 
and just using that bomb just to stall out there a little bit longer because Goma knew there was no jump left, so he was expecting him to try and drift down a little bit, but that bomb stall kept him up too high for Goma to be able to catch him. Wow. Damn. Going into and that's a way. That's a bad way to go out if you're going, but that, that's just upsetting. Cause you had the yep. you had the edge guard. All you had to do. Yep. Is just confirm <laughs> that, and you just got dared. Yep. Oh, holy cow! That little Kempi did like 40 percent there. Damn, and he's 72 and, and climbing it. Oh, yeah, you know he's Woo. Goma mad now. Big but, Gomer's coming out. He's upset. Like, he is. Geez. He's like, you are not going to spike me like that and get away with yeah, this. He listen, he's listening to Drake. I'm upset in his headset right now. <laughs> 50,000 oh. on his head is disrespect. Yeah. And he's already got him up to 120. 121. Plus. Jeez. And, cl and rapidly climbing. But Advo on the offensive now. Yep. Up B's, up B's everywhere. Charge shots. 73%. Yep. Let's see what we got. Oh, I like oh, that. Oh, jab to pivot grab. Not going to catch him, though. Yep. Got to get this Pikmin off of him. Down. Spot dodge to uh, down tilt to fair. And now this game is even again. Goma had a, such a big lead in the beginning of the game. But Avo just. There it is. Losing his stock. Yep. <laughs> I all was going to say, Avo returning a favor here, but, you know, all that up smash for that up B. All it takes is one missed option against Olimar. He's got some of the strongest punishes in the game. So if you are not on point, you are getting Pikmin. Yep. There we go. Just right, shot him off. All right, let's see. Oh, let's, let's see the edge guard. All right, and there. Nice. Yeah. There, Goma trying Definitely to jump to try to up be around him. Not gonna get it though. Yeah, that was a good call. Can't maneuver around. Yeah, can't maneuver around that there. Not at all. There we go. There we Just go. shoot out a few missiles. Yeah. Slow it down a little bit. Yep. That axe kick seems to be fairly effective at getting the Pikmin off of the Dark Samus. Yeah. I like the uh, Zare cancels that he does. When he oh, oh my <laughs> God! No way! No oh. way! Is he dead? Oh! Whoa! Just what the hell? What? Did he air dodge? Yeah. Oh, Wait. you can air dodge him. Oh, Wait. That was insane. Wait a minute. He flew up. I'll have to double check that because I've heard conflicting things about if he can air dodge out of it or not. That was insane. He flew up. Like yeah. he had Pikmin attached to him too, so like he went hella up. Channeled Smash Four and just summoned the Magna Hands. Right. There, there again, just threatening to charge shot. But just gonna fair instead. Just gonna cancel fair, yep. jump fair. And nice. there's the charge shot. Yep. Advo yep. even in the game up yet again. Hopefully not gonna uh, invade his space and get hit by an up smash. Goma reaching for that blue Pikmin grab. Oh, shield it? damage coming yeah. out. All right, here we go. Gonna get the fair. Extend the hitbox on the Pikmin. Gonna hit Olimar for it. There we go. Just nice up tilt. Get rid of the uh, yellow, yellow Pikmin. Pikmin. But another one gets pulled right out. All right. This is really the challenging part for Avo. Just finding a way to safely get this kill right now. Because if you try and go in with an aerial, there we go. You're just going to get up smashed out exactly. of shield and just and pay your whole stock. Exactly. Board. So it just came down to that spacing game between those two. And Avo oh, yeah. more than content just to sit back right now because he yeah. knows if he gets close, there's going to be an aerial in his face or a Pikmin smash. Oh, and there Like that is. right there. Miss Grab, going to get up smash. Only able to attack on 27%, Goma but Goma has taken almost start. every stock with up smash. Both of them go for a spike there. Yeah. Down here throw fair, here we go. Yep, good DI out, make sure Let's you can situation. Oh. Got a down smash, going to cover two options. <laughs> it's just going to blow up the Pikmin. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and we're just blowing them up. Jeez. There we go. Finally like kill playing, off Purple. Like he's playing uh, what's, what's that game where uh, or where they say yeah, they yell shoot and then you shoot it with a shotgun? Uh, it's, it's what Duck Hunt does. 90% of carnival games? <laughs> yeah. It's what they do with the, uh, yeah. I want to call it speedball, but it's not speedball. Nope. Every, someone someone yeah. should know what I'm talking about. You pull a, a disc flies in the air and you shoot it. Oh, skeet shooting. See, I knew it was skeet something. Yep. I didn't know what it was. Or clay pigeon if you prefer. But right now, uh, these Pikmin looking like clay pigeons, the way they're getting tossed out. Jeez. They are just throwing stuff at each other at this point. <laughs> There's no attempt to even go in at all. Yep. 
And Advo should not have let that happen. He let too many Pikmin stick to him, and now he is sitting at 96% when he was seven at six, sitting at 70 ish. The risk you take with that, though, is if you go to get the Pikmin off of you, you're giving up stage control because then Olmar's got an opening to come in and approach you. So it's definitely a trade off. Do you accept the percent or do you give Olmar stage control? Right. Hey, can we talk about the Pikmin watch? Shield poking? That was the. Oh, and, and another Goodbye. missed path! Ate, ate another smash for it. Man. Gotta be careful Advo, with Yeah, those. gotta be careful with the grab. He lost two, or three, all three stocks that game to miss grab into up smash, up smash, and side smash. Yeah, Goma doing a real good job capitalizing on that. I'm not sure if there's really a good staged counter pick to against all of our. Because it feels like he's going to benefit off of a lot of the you same things Dark Samus does. I was say, you don't want to take him to a big stage. Yeah, that's true. Don't give him room. you got to smuggle him. Running it right back, but getting the song counter pick at the very least. Hey, this is a fire song, bro. All right, game three. We'll see who's going to be coming out on top this time. Alright, up there, up there, double. Yep, little 20%. Ooh, you know, baby, a triple. Alright, Nair coming out. Coming strong. There we go. At Both least we kept the white percent. one. Yeah, the one Pikmin I will say give up stage control every time to get off of you is that white one. Yeah, if you get that white one attached for too long, you're going to be in some serious trouble. Yep. Fair off stage again. And he, oh! Ooh, I like that. And he's going to Nair. No. Yeah, no, he's just attaching to that really hard. Yeah. I'm surprised he doesn't go for a fair because it feels like that would last a lot longer if Olimar is riding yeah, the line. Yeah, drop down fair? Yeah. But then, in that scenario, I feel like he's, ooh, nice up tilt. I feel like he's uh counting on him to tech and then dare him. Yep. Oh. oh. Just barely got away from that F smash. Yep. If that was a white one, that actually would have reached. Probably would have, well, definitely would have Oh, damn. Got the back air through all that confusion. Good, good stuff coming out from Goma. Still in the first stock of the last game of Winter Semis. Yep. Winter goes on to play Daybreak. Just constantly attaching these Pikmin just to make sure that while well, Evo's trying to take off the stock, he's going to be taking guaranteed percent. Yeah. And I just realized whoever wins this goes against the uh, goes against Daybreak. Goma Kempi oh. has been has lost to him in the same way several times with being the Nair to. Uh, or forward and to side B yep. to kill him. <laughs> and I know he wants to run back. And at the same time, Advo, on the other hand, is just father for the son here. Yep. But we'll see if we get parental issues or our vengeance coming out. And if Advo doesn't do something soon, he's going to lose the second stock without taking any. Goma Kimmy's going to take the second stock without losing any percent. Yeah, and that'll be huge to not take any percent against Samus like this. Yeah, especially against Samus, a projectile based character. There we go, at least attack right. on 28%. 28%. I mean, we can only go up from here. This player, is, Evo is really smart. Yep. Knows what he needs to do to keep his stock alive, and that's not Ooh. it. The grab is gonna come through after the two whiff grabs. Ooh. That's nice always the most shot. tense, when you're just sitting in and shield right in front. Yeah, because it's who, who grabs first? Yep. Who does what option first? Purple pick, we're gonna get him off stage. Got double purple. Oh, no. Back throw? Yep. What's the ledge guard? Throws down Bomb bounce. into charge shot. Oh, he faked the charge shot. Not yeah. going to get the up tilt. At least able oh. to get his feet back on the stage for a moment here. Yeah. There we go. Throwing the Pikmin out, making sure they're at least walking back to him to act as a wall. Because if that charge shot gets fully charged, you can actually block it with walking Pikmin. Oh, man. Nice parry. And again, he's coming in through with the confusion and throwing Pikmin at him so he can't see it. Hell, I can barely see it. I'm, I'm not even playing. Actually managed to outrange the grab there. But I'm going to clip Goma and at least tack on more more percent here. There we go. And considering that, bombs. you have to consider, this was after Goma had absolutely no zero, percent yeah, on him. He had zero percent. Avo brought it all the way to 139 while only taking about 60 in his own right. But yep. fair. Yeah. Going to take his life away and, go, and Goma one stock away from uh, making his winning finals. 
Yeah, at the very least for Avo, he's got him off at a high enough percent that all he needs to do is find that opening. Not enough, but it still gives him a good opportunity to finally take the stock off and even it back up. I mean, Nair will do it here, oh. but you're going to catch another up smash for that whip grab. He's got to stop doing that. Yep. He keeps thinking he's far enough that the roll won't go through, but right. he keeps on making it. But every time he goes through it and he gets he needs an up smash for it. Back air, only sitting at 53%. Definitely doable here for both players. Yeah, so Avo gonna have to find a way to either get a good grab into fair combo or just tack on raw percent with these charge shots. But the challenge is, if you drop that shield at the wrong time, you're gonna have Piglin latching onto you. You're gonna be taking more and more percent. He's gotta find some way to be able to take the fight to Goma. Right, and he's sending out these grabs again. And he's not getting any punished for him, so I guess those are fine, but co the closer you are to Goma and the more those grabs lift, the closer you are to death. Yeah. Goma finally managing to force him to the ledge here. Uppy gonna get him out of trouble for a moment, but the grab sent him right back off. Yep. Oh, poor smash from the ledge. Tried to grab him for it. Eats a back air. Not a strong one, though. Not gonna get the kill. F smash tries to grab out of it. This isn't Smash 4. We can't be doing that out here. Yep. And two blues in the lineup right now. One blue in the lineup. <laughs> and Ammo's really just having trouble finding a safe way off the ledge. But I'm gonna get him off for a moment yep. there. And Charge Shot just going to apply that pressure so he can stay on the stage. And he goes right back to the ledge. It's like you see that purple with the arrow over it. You do not want to be jumping into that. All right, here we go. And again, this purple one. All right. So this is similar to what we saw in the last talk. Avo with a lot of percent, but still keeping it Yeah, but alive. Goma, Goma has that blue one now, so he's going to definitely be looking for the grab. The, any grab here will do it from Goma. Or for Goma. And or for yep. there. He goes to get the Pikmin off him. Goma recognizes it and just capitalizes. Yep. Hits him with the fair. He's going to end his stop. It is really hard to get those Pikmin off safe.